Hi there, my name is Amy Barrett Daffin. I'm the publisher at CNT Publishing, and we are here in Houston at Fall Quilt Market. And I am going to show you about our new product, the Essential Color Card Deck. And this is based on Joan Wolfram's Ives Color Tool. I'm going to magically make the box look the right way. And this is available from Checker. So this has 220 color cards, and I'm going to show you how to have pleasing color every time. So I'm starting off with this really busy fabric, and there's a reason for that, because we all have this in our stash. So what do you do with this fabric? So what you want to do is you want to build some color confidence. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this orange. And I'm looking at my deck, and there are, let's see, there are, okay, yellow, orange. There are seven cards for each color. And so what's different about the seven cards? So two of them have black added, two of them have gray added, and two of them have white added. So these are your tints, we add white. These are your tones, we add gray. These are your shades, we add black. And this is your pure color. So I'm going to start with this orange, and I'm going to figure out how to tell you a color story. So I'm going to set these right here, and I'm going to flip this card over, and I'm going to look at this triadic color family. Every card has a number. So I'm going to look. This is number 22, so I'm going to look for 6 and 14. Now I know 6 is in the green, so I'm just going to tip my deck and find my 6. And wonder of wonders, I actually tipped it to the exact spot. So I'm going to pull out my 7 cards that are green, like I just showed you. And I think that's it. OK. So now I've got my first color. And then I'm going to look for number 14, which is going to be right around here, I think. Don't go anywhere, you guys. OK, there we go. So there's 14. I need to find all of them. It can be a little messy if you spill your deck. But if you do, I'm going to show you how you organize it again. OK, so there's my 14. And I've got them all now. There we go. So now I have triadic color, because I have the three colors there. So you could start with really vivid colors, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to look here and say what works with this quilt. So I'm going to pull this one out, and I know that works. And then I'm going to look here for purple, and I'm going to go, that one works. So now I have the beginning of a color story. So in every good story, there needs to be a little mystery. So we're going to add a little bit more color so we get some movement. So I'm going to throw in this darker purple right there, or actually that is red violet. And then I'm looking at this, and I'm like, mm, I need a little more movement. So I'm going to pull a really dark one. So now I have the beginning of my color story. But no story is complete without adding grayscale and neutral. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, well, what do I want to add? And I'm going to look at these, and I'm going to say, I like this light gray, because I want to have some place for your eye to rest. So I'm going to put those aside, and then I'm going to look at my neutrals. And the neutrals come in three ways. They either, they're all brown, and they either have red added, they have yellow added, or they have blue added. So you get these browns that are really warm. You get these browns that are really cool. And then you get these browns that run into the yellows. So it's really fun to play with. So now I like the warm browns. And I'm looking here, and I go, OK, I think that one's going to work for me. So now I take all my cards. I put them all together. I'm at my favorite quilt shop. And now I have a color story I can tell. And I can shop in my store. And I can pull all the bolts off that go with my color story. And I know I'm going to have pleasing color with good value every time.